guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm gonna show you a little DIY. It's my first DIY on my channel, I think. Sewing wise, which is weird, because that's what I love to do. But if you follow me on Instagram or you saw my little mini thrift haul, Walmart haul video, then you remember this. I found this sheet at Goodwill for $3 and it's got little safety pins all over it. I'm gonna show you how to make curtains from this king size sheet. So even if you're a super beginner sewer, you can do this. It's so easy. If you'd like to follow along and see how I make these curtains for $3, super easy, super fast. Stick around, watch the video, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit the little bell because I'm sure in the near future I'll have a lot more sewing tutorials and craft tutorials and things like that. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on any other good finds that I have. I leave little hints to my videos that are coming up sometimes. Go follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. So I'm going to get right into it and show you how I sew these curtains. To start off, I'm going to measure and cut the sheet to the length I want it. I know I want mine to be 84 inches, so I'm going to measure 85, giving an extra inch for the bottom hem. Your measurements may be different, so just measure from the top of your curtain rod down to the floor. Don't forget to add that extra inch for the bottom hem, and also make sure you're cutting off the bottom of your sheet, not the pretty top part. Make sure you save that bottom piece because this part is going to be used to make the tabs on the back of our curtains. Then I cut the sheet in half lengthwise so that I had two long panels that were the measurement I wanted, which for me was 85 inches. On the top of the sheet, on the back, this is where we're going to add our tabs and two long strips to hold them in place. The top of my sheet measures four and a quarter inches, so that's how long I'm gonna cut the strips for my tabs. I'm gonna cut a piece that is four and a quarter inches by the width of the fabric, as well as two more pieces that are two and a half inches by the width of the fabric. The two more narrow pieces we're going to set aside because those are going to be the strips that hold the tabs in place. So now I cut 14 strips that are each 3 inches wide and 4 and a quarter inches long. I'll be using my piecing foot, which one side is a quarter inch seam allowance and the other side is an eighth of an inch. Fold each strip lengthwise in half, right sides facing each other, so that you have a little tube when you're done sewing it together. And so the raw edges close with a quarter inch seam allowance.
Now you're going to turn each tube right side up. Once they're all right side out, you want to iron them flat so that the seam that you sewed is hiding on the back side of the tube. Now for the long strips that hold the tabs in place. Start by folding it in half lengthwise all the way down and pressing to make a crease down the middle. Then you're gonna unfold that and fold in each side to meet the crease that you just made in the middle. Once your middles meet, fold the two new outside edges together to make a nice little strip where there are no raw edges because they're all encased inside. This is also the same way I make quilt binding, so if you know how to do that, you're good here. The edge that you can open is where we're going to insert the tabs. Now I'm just going to do the same exact thing with the second one. Okay, so to put this all together, we want one strip at the top with the open edge facing down. And we want the other strip at the bottom with the open edge facing up. By doing this, it'll hide all the raw edges of the tabs so you don't have any ugly strings hanging out. You wanna make sure your tabs are spaced out pretty evenly. Insert the top edge of the tab into the little pocket created by the strip.
Secure all of these in place and secure your strip in place making sure it's even with the top edge of the sheet. Well, my camera decided not to show you, but I sewed all the way down one side of the strip an eighth of an inch away from the edge. And now I'm going to do the same with the other side. You can see what the two lines of stitching look like from the front. This enclosed the open pocket and also kept our tabs in place. And now we're going to do the same exact thing with the bottom strip. Make sure the raw edges of your tabs are inside the folds of the strip. So again, we're going to sew an eighth of an inch from the edge down one side of the strip. and then sew an eighth of an inch from the edge on the other side. Now we have this nice little row of tabs where your curtain rod is gonna go through. All that's left to do is sew the side and the bottom hem. I always start with the side seam first. So to make a half inch hem, I fold the raw edge in half an inch and then fold it in half an inch again. You can either press this down or pin it to hold it in place. I think pressing it gives it a nice more finished look.
I'm going to sew all the way down this hem an eighth of an inch from the inside edge of the hem, not an eighth of an inch from the edge of the curtain. I do the same thing with my bottom hem, fold in half an inch, and fold in half an inch again. And then sew that with an eighth inch seam allowance. And done! Time to see what they look like. New curtains can always be kind of picky about where they want to be on the rod. So I always train mine by clipping them in place where I want them folded for a day or two until they just kind of memorize it. I think these turned out pretty great. They didn't take me long at all and you can't beat $3 for a new set of curtains. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more tutorials when I post them. And also hit that little bell so it'll tell you every time I post one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.